Here is a simplified simulator showing how the Polyflex pump works. The example you're about to see is of a continuous flow of two liquid components being supplied to a process. However, other varieties with several liquid components can be provided upon request. To the right we can see the pump and to the left we see the motor. The pump consists of two chambers, one for each of the liquid components. These are illustrated here with a blue and an orange liquid. The liquid in the blue chamber is pumped with the aid of a plunger, while the chamber containing the orange liquid is pumped by a piston ring, through which the plunger moves. The plunger is directly connected to the motor, providing the plunger with a constant stroke length, giving a constant amount of liquid for each rotation of the motor. The piston ring, however, is connected to the plunger via a spring, enabling it to be stopped at specific points on the plunger, even when the plunger is moving beyond this point. The piston ring stops at a shoulder in the chamber. By moving the pump housing either closer or further away from the motor, we can adjust the amount of orange liquid that will be pumped. First of all, we can demonstrate what happens when we set the mixture ratio to 100% blue liquid. The piston ring will remain where it is and no orange liquid will be pumped, only blue. We can slow down the speed of the pump to make it easier to see what is actually happening. Let's start the simulator now. As you can see, the blue liquid is being pumped while the piston ring remains pressed against the pump housing. The markings you see here indicate that the pump housing is as close as possible to the motor. If we wish to pump some of the orange liquid into the process, then we just move the slider on the simulator, thereby moving the pump housing further from the motor. The amount of blue liquid being pumped remains unchanged, but we can now see that the piston ring has started to move a little. The amount of movement is equal to 13% of the total liquid being pumped, while the blue liquid provides 87%. If we wish to pump even more orange liquid, then we simply move the pump housing even further away from the motor. We can now see that the piston ring moves considerably more and pumps even more liquid, now an even greater proportion of the total liquid being pumped to the process. Remember, the plunger pumps the same amount of blue liquid regardless of where the pump housing is in relation to the motor, while the piston ring pumps more in proportion to the position of the housing.